Yo, 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 what's poppin'? You currently tuned in to the coldest podcast in the land. It's your boy, B. Jones, a.k.a. Bolo, and you know when I'm pulling up to the porch. I can't pull up without my dog. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Big Smitty, a.k.a. D-Nice. And where we at again, Bolo? Y'all know we in a place to be. So go ahead, tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up and grab a drink, because this is The Porch. Started on the porch, that was where it all began. Had to put in work, every day we got it in. Chased all our dreams and now they can't believe it. We make it look easy. We achieve it. Everything we need. Now we undefeated. If we link, no, it's only business. If we get to speak and leave them speechless. I did things for free, but now it costs to see me. When you see me, you ain't gotta greet me. Just don't plot to sneak me. I'ma see it. I'ma stop and watch you lose and get defeated. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's Sunday, man. How you feeling? It's Sunday. Hey man, I'm great, man. You know it's a wind down time usually on a sunday kind of getting your mind right for for a new week yep. you know but yeah man i'm glad man we got special guests here going heading into the week the right way so i'm excited of course man of course and uh without no further ado we got to introduce her the right way so let's get it coming let's... coming all the way from canada she's a rapper a songwriter a model the one and only duchess welcome to the porch how you doing i'm good thanks for having me Absolutely. Of course, of course, of course. I love this, man, because this is a special episode. You are our first guest, if I'm not mistaken, from another country. That's I don't correct. think we've had a... I, yeah, I think... So that's shout correct. out to you, man. We're breaking barriers. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. the six. Nah, that's it. cold. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So let's get straight to it, man. Um, Before we dive into, like, your journey, let's talk about your new project, your new EP, Me Versus hey, Me. Hey. Yes, yes. So just walk us through like the inspiration behind this project and like what what our fans can expect from listening in. Definitely. So I just wanted to put together like a project that would be fun, but also something that it could be a little bit more lyrical on, give you a piece of a piece of me, a little bit more in depth of like my life and my lifestyle. So, yeah, that's what I was going for. Nice. Now, Duchess, uh, for the for the porch out here, describe your style, um, mm. you know, as people beginning to, you know, starting to listen and get a feel for who you are. Um, my style is anything hip hop, R and B, dancehall. I kind of combined it all into one, if I can. And yeah, that's me. I love Straight. it. No. Yes, yes, that's how you do. It. And I love your your uh, like the EP cover too. It's like the two pictures of you, yeah. the me yeah. versus me. That's hard. That's hard. Now I love that a lot. So you talk about you know your style, and you know I know, doing the research, I saw that there's a long list of artists who've like inspired you. As you're Love. growing up in your, your career, you know, I think Janet Jackson, Missy Elliott, Snoop Dogg, just to name a few. Wh which artists would you say inspired you the most? Um, I would have to say Missy, just because she was so mm. raw. She was just her. She could do the R&B thing. She could do the rap. She was just different when she would record in, the, in a studio. Her whole process was different. Yeah. And I really appreciate that as an artist. Yeah, nice. Missy. Nice. I feel like Missy don't get, like, enough flowers. You know what I'm saying? Like... <clears throat> her creativity agree. and like the music videos was crazy her style so it's yeah. it's real refreshing to hear, to hear someone say that you know what i'm saying definitely let's throw her a bouquet real quick you know yeah if i have some flowers right Throw now i just throw them right in the now. air right now throw 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super fly right right <laughs> go crazy bolo i can't stand the rain you know it you know it oh. how she do the video how she <laughs> Missy's yeah, so like she in there yeah just yeah. cold yeah. just definitely. Sweet. Football might be over for this season, but basketball is in full steam for both pro and college hoops. From all the latest odds, totals, player performance props, to where the next fired coach is going to land, Bet Online is the number one spot for all your sports betting needs. Head over to the website or use your mobile devices to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE to get started. That's BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, to get started. And it's not just basketball. Bet Online is your source for hockey, boxing, and UFC odds. Right to the Olympic coverage is the best in the business. From sports right down to your favorite Vegas casino games, Bet Online is your number one online wagering destination. Bet online, the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports and to play your favorite games. Bet online, where the game starts. 
So, Duchess, I had a question. I know we were talking about the me versus me. I guess what inspired that title? Because that me versus me, I think that's a that's a strong title. Like it, it says a lot about, you know, maybe where you are right now in your life and, you know, kind of give us more insight to what that me versus me stands for. So I feel like with women, everybody tries to compete or compare women. Mm. So I really feel like my only competition is me. Like I got to just be better than I was before. The last album, last single, whatever it is, just be better. I love it. I love it. Because for me, and obviously for the Porsche that's listening, it's about just getting better every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think a lot of times too, with social media, with the world we live in, a generation, a lot of people focus on other people's dinner plate, you know? Instead of yeah. focusing on what's on your plate. So I think, you know, continue to, you know, self-construct, you know, work on yourself, get better. You know, that's that's what a true success is. So I appreciate that. That that definitely is is a telltale sign of, you know, more to come. Right. If you're building, you're working on yourself, continue to get better. Love it. Facts, facts, facts. So uh, so let's take it back, man. So explain to me just, you know, kind of dive into like your personal journey. Right. What was life like for you, you know, growing up in, in Canada, right? So, like, I was listening to your, to your EP the other day. Uh, first of all, again, amazing, amazing project. I love it. One of your songs, I think, uh, titled Energy, one of the lines you had said that, you know, your mom had had you, like, I think at 16, at a younger age. So, kind of dive into, like, just a personal journey for you. Just, so, just right. how, how was life like in Canada? I've never been to Canada. I have no idea what the vibe is like. So, just growing up, what was that like for you? Yes. I mean, for me, being an Isan girl, it's rough. It's, you know, we weren't, we didn't have money like that. We lived in a poverty area. So like, yeah, it was a struggle. And of course, my mom being so young, she was raised, like we grew up together basically. So, you mm -hmm. know, that, that's another part of it. But yeah, it wasn't what everybody thinks it is. Everybody says it's like igloos and shit out here. Like, nah. <laughs> so yeah. God, that's you. nice. Now it's funny she said that though, like because like being you know being over here in, 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 don't in the know. U.S. you just don't know like you you hear like you said you're a county thing is she said igloos and shit and you, you know you see pictures of Toronto and it looks amazing the downtown scene but like that's all we see but right. like you said like there's an actual there's a hood anywhere you go you know what I'm saying so like facts facts nah, that's Love real it. that's real Wait. now like like taking a deeper dive into you know your career and kind of all the different areas that you've impacted. Um, sounds like you're you're extremely motivated. Um, you know, you got a got a big motivator behind you pushing you to get better. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about your why. You know, who is that why? What is that why? Give us more insight to that. My son is definitely that why. He gives me the motivation I need. But I guess even before him, I had the passion and desire. Mm -hmm. He that much stronger. So yeah, there's no no giving up now. <laughs> I like it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. I love yeah. it. And I know, but I don't have any kids yet. I am married, though, and it's definitely in the future plans. Okay. I appreciate that. My brother right here, Bolo, he is married and has two little ones. So two, I can only imagine how, like, no. dry factor. It just but changes, change gears quick. It's definitely. I always tell I always tell people who don't have kids yet. It's one of those unexplainable feelings where it's like, you know, everybody who are, you know, going into, I guess, the, the parent, they like their parenthood. They're like, you know, hey, what any tips? I'm like, man, the best advice is just continue to be yourself and it, it's just going to click. Like when it, when that yeah. baby's born, you just going to tap into mom mode, tap into dad mode. It's just going to happen. Yeah. And yeah. it's unexplainable. So. Definitely. Definitely. So, for sure. so um, explain to us, what is it like being, uh, being a rap artist, a female rap artist on top of that from Canada? Is it harder for you to, to like blow up? Like yeah. walk, <laughs> walk, yeah. take us through the grind. Yeah, it's really tough out here. I mean, as you can see, it's tough for the guys. There's right. one, two, three, four, maybe that's it, that have made it out. So for the females, it's that much harder. And mm -hmm. the guys out here don't rate us. So mm -hmm. we have to push hard to be better than them. So, yeah, it's a struggle, but I'm pushing. I love pushing, it. Pushing hard, pushing. Got to. Now, one thing I got to add before I even continue, I, I hear I hear that strong accent in your, yeah. in your background. Now, if I'm not mistaken... You have a, a Jamaican, a Jamaican heritage, Jamaican background, is right. Talk yep. about how much that, I guess, Jamaican background, Jamaican heritage has influenced your your work, your music. Oh, so much. I mean, I try and look, try and sprinkle a little patois in everything I do if I can, just to show that you know, I love Yad, I love Jamaica, that those are my people, and I like to you know put that out there. But it has definitely influenced me a lot. 
my everyday life since I was born. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I, w- I wish I wish I could do my. That's nah, I know to you it's like normal that you just talking, but to yeah. me it's like. Can I? <laughs> I love that shit. That could yeah, kind of like just like the counting, like even before we got to that point, like I heard you say a tree, like a, a tree. Like I'm yeah. like that's like I, I, I like the just the accent, like the way you guys like enunciate. Oh yeah. That's, that's dope. cool. That's so dope. um, you know, obviously the thing about you know being in the game that you in, it's it's uh it's slim pickings, you know. A lot of people try. A lot of people have, you know, 15 year plan and they're going after it and they are still trying to chase a goal that they've been trying to chase since the early 2000s. Right. So for you, you know, and obviously you've came so far and you're breaking barriers right now. I guess at what point in your career did you realize, like, OK, this is the real deal for me and I can actually take this to the next level as far as my my career? Mm. I mean, the first track I put out, I didn't really take it too serious. I thought it was just, you know, some fun. I love music like that's love of my life besides my son music so yeah i um i decided that's you know what i needed to do i hopped in the booth sorry I hopped in the booth and um tried a thing it came out sick and the love and response i got back from it that's when i said this could be something even though i'm in canada and i'm a girl like i could really do something here and especially when i came over to the states performed at yeah. KOD. Everybody went wild, and I said, "Okay, yeah, this is for me for sure." That's hard. That's hard. So, give us more insight to that that KOD move that that, that happened. So, you 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 were able to perform at KOD. And yeah, it went crazy. Like, kind of so, give us a little I, bit more into that. I, I didn't even hop off the stage. Yet. I think I stepped down two steps, and people were like, "Yo, yo, yo, you're the next thing. You're the next thing. Like, you're crazy. You're crazy. I know you're from Canada, but yo, we've never seen nothing like this. So, yeah, kept pushing. Hell yeah." That's cold. That's cold. And now, um, I also read as well that like early on, um, I believe, correct me if I'm uh, not if I'm not mistaken, used to be in a rap group. Is that is that yes. right? Yes, I did. Got you. And early on, so when you were still in a group, I read that uh, you both was sometimes open up for Waka Flocka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was lit. That nice. was really. Lit. He's like a high energy performer, so like we kind of fed off of that and just went crazy. And and this was like I think like prime flocka like when flock was still like you know a little bit more active in his music so I didn't the paint that that <laughs> <laughs> so I know he's on the stage going crazy I go hard in the motherfucking paint like he's man hey, bro Hi. flock used to have me in the weight room going crazy you know crazy. We, crazy. we both former athletes so like you turn that you turn certain music it on and just get a whole you different man just person yeah crazy. he goes crazy he does some next stuff like I don't know that's some <laughs> level next level but yeah we tried to match it it was lit we had a lot of fun that's dope nice that's dope. nice what would you say and i know this question just came out top of the head looking mm-hmm. back to those early times you know opening up for flocka or just even yeah. performing at kod what's some of like the early things that you learned early on that has, have helped you today okay so you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm. Everything you're going to do, you're going to feel the nerves. You're going to feel uncomfortable in some way. You have to get comfortable mm-hmm. with that and push through. If you don't push through, you'll never grow. So that's one thing that I learned. Like, no matter what, I'm going to have some nerves. Okay, let's get through it. Let's push. And then we'll be better the next time. And it's so true. So true. That's deep. That's deep. Now, that's now talk to us about the industry. So obviously, um, last few years, I mean, the women have taken the hell off as far as tracks as far as you know, just summer, <laughs> summer bangers albums like they really have really like st- like pretty much took the show uh when it comes to like you know you got the city girls you got meg um oh, cardi got, nikki still cardi, around for yeah you know, nikki still nikki coming back with with some with some fire you know yep. so many so many female rappers to to name that are doing so well um you know in the industry right now I guess, do you think, you know, women ha- have arrived and made it? Or, you know, is it still, um, you know, that point where you think, you know, women in the rap game still have a, a little ways to go? Nah, we're here. <laughs> Everybody's there. We're definitely here. We're doing our thing. And we can compete and stand next to the guys. So, Thanks. yeah, it's our time for sure. That's what's up. I love it. I love. Now, tell me this. Like, obviously, you know you're competitive you're a rapper yourself but i'm sure like before you really got to the game or maybe even still today there has to be like a certain female rapper that maybe you looked up to or inspired like tell us who that who that that one girl is <sighs> keep it real keep this the porch no. this the porch 
<laughs> when, you know what I mean? But honestly, I have to say Foxy Brown just because she does Ooh. have that like island background. So I, I do appreciate that. I fuck with Foxy the long way. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, shout out to Foxy, because Foxy, she... She, hey, you a real historian you know, of the game. Yeah, I was I about to say, you don't, you, yeah. don't hear, you don't hear Foxy Brown too often when people dad, are talking about. Yeah, they put me I love on. That. They made sure I knew. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, That's yeah. dope. Nah, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely, so let me definitely. so let me pick your brain real quick on this. So obviously, um, you know, you're from Canada. I guess, what yeah. was your first experience like in the U.S.? Like, you know, was it, you know, were you a little girl? Did you come over, you know, as a teenager? What was that experience like, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I can't, I think I went when I was probably like 12 to Florida. We went to Disneyland and things like that. Nice. Um, Universal Studios. It was really cool, really amazing. I just uh -huh. remember accents. I used to think the accents were really dope. That's what I remember. Nice. That's nice. funny. She thought our accents was dope. We think her <laughs> accent, though. We both just dope, I guess, huh? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's fire. Um, so I also, so, you know, looking up, uh, you know, just your, your background, I saw what you've done different projects, whether it's videos or just uh, other projects as well with big time artists. So like Wiz Khalifa, Rich Kid, I think Tory Lanez. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is there like an artist, I guess, who you worked with early on where like, you might have not said it out loud, but like in the inside, you thought to yourself like, oh shit, I'm really in the studio with this person. Uh, okay, so a lot of things are looked down in the industry especially like i don't know fanning out when you see like artists and things like that you can't act like a fan of the game or anything like that you know what i mean you have mm -hmm. to real really just be like a regular person in the studio so i've always tried to like even if i felt like that i tried to keep it real cool and cordial you know but yeah right. every them was definitely an honor to be around so yeah right now i, def I definitely understand that like you, you know you Cause like me and me and Bolo being in like the media space, we talk to all types of different people. You can't be like fanboyed out, fangirled out, right. and make them uncomfortable. But at the yeah. same time, like internally, it's like shoot, like I'm from the hood. I I come, I don't yeah. come from much. So like, shit, I'm in the studio with Wiz Khalifa. Like what the? <laughs> <laughs> you know, here, but you can't even do that. But yeah, it's definitely those moments in your head where you have that. Right. You might got a room for a moment, just like yo, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> yeah. get myself together, go back in there. But yeah. It's right. lit. I'm I'm sure there's been some time where you left the studio and you FaceTime your like, homegirl like I just hey, did girl, that, girl. you can't girl, believe girl, who I just did it. <laughs> 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 All right, now look, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit here, Bolo. Now, obviously, you a beast in the studio. We already know that. Thank but you. from my sources in Canada, I also hear that you a beast in the kitchen. If that Ooh. is true, where did you find your love from cooking? And are you really that cold that nice in the kitchen? No, nah, I'm cold. I'm cold with it. I'm cold with it. Oh, I used to front. I used to front. But yo, when I had everybody over at my crib for Christmas and Thanksgiving, I still get asked probably four months before. Oh, we coming to your crib for Christmas? We coming to your crib for Thanksgiving? So I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lit. I'm lit. <laughs> so y'all y'all hear that, Porch. Look, so real cooks, okay, they are throwing down on the big holidays, all right? Yep. They, they cooking those mass meals, you know. Days before, yep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't talking about, you know, Friday night, Thursday night dinner. We talking about you cooking for a lot of people with a lot of different food tastes, food opinions, and they're going to be giving you, especially your family, they're going to let you know if that mac and cheese stale or not, you know, that potato <laughs> salad. They're going to they gonna give you the real, you know, so... <laughs> If you're throwing down on the holidays, that means you really can cook. So, hell yeah, hats off to you. Now, Dutch, okay. tell us this though: like, what's your like? If you got to pick one one thing that you just like, you the shit at, like when it comes to food, what's that one item that you like? All right, when Dutch is pull up, she gotta bring this. Gotta bring it. Okay, I used to say oxtail, but oh, now I gotta say my glazed salmon. That thing is. Huh. Dang. I want it right now. My mouth is watering right now. <laughs> fire, we might, right we now. might have to do an episode of the porch in Canada. I and, know. And Dutch might have to throw a little glazed salmon on us. Come on now. For real. If y'all with it, I'm with it. That's just sound <laughs> Damn, crazy. The porch in Canada with glazed salmon. That sounds crazy Hell, right now. Think up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then I it's, it. I don't know if it's like this in Canada, but like in the U.S. right now, a lot of people have taken off on like the chef side of things, like doing private events and stuff like that. And I've seen a lot of people make a, a good living from, you know, that side of things. Has there ever been a thought for you to just transition or like, you know, dive into more of the chef world and cook and, you know, do dinner plates and stuff? I know a lot of people are doing that type of stuff now. 
maybe not that, but I have thought about doing like a couple vlogs, like maybe yeah. a couple of, like mukbangs and things like that or different recipes that I'll cook. Definitely thought of that. Yeah. 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 She could. You yeah. could do like a dope ass thing. like event where like it's like you, you showcasing some new music, a new EP. Yeah. But, then, but then you you cooking the food. So it's like a little food and music. Little. That would be <laughs> Come on now. Bring it, bring it all together. I'm, you know, I'm gonna do with the idea. I come with the ideas now, so yeah. yeah <laughs> all right, got you. So let's 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 move over to our to our quick hitters, Bolo man. Uh, so these right here are just like, you know, we'll ask you like some random fun questions, and you hit us back with you know one two liner uh, responses here. So I'm gonna get it popping first. Top three artists from Canada. So this can be rappers, singers, whatever. But top three artists from Canada go. Okay, Drake, Duchess, Tory Lanez. Ooh, in, in, that three. <laughs> in that motherfucking order. So, so let me so let me ask you this before we before we get to our next question because yeah. I, I just got to know from being from Canada. Obviously, Drake is like the sixth god. You know, he has a you know they everybody holds his name in a high regard in Canada. And obviously, it's Tory Lanez. Shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everywhere for real. Um, no cap. But like, I guess, is there any other like big art, big artists in Canada? Because I I really only hear about like Drake and Tory Lanez majority of the time. The weekend, then, of oh, course, yeah. Hidden, hidden gems oh. that that you can throw yeah. out to us. Oh, definitely. Okay, so big up the Was Gang. Everybody in the Was Gang is super hard. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to Houdini. All of those guys are super sick. Goldie London, watch out for her. Okay, my, my, she's super sick. Um. Who else? Who else? There's so many. Uh, I'm not trying to diss anybody. I yeah, swear. Yeah, to yeah, no facts, facts. I, I feel like we put you on the spot just a little bit. I ain't, we, we ain't, we ain't really trying to do that, but just put you know our listeners on game with you know the Canadian you know rappers R and B, just kind of that that music industry on that side. For sure, for sure. Yes. Now, Duchess, will, will we ever see a Duchess and Drake song? No, just like call from the sick. Like, talk to me now. We gonna manifest it right now. That's yes. It. yes, but that's it. Put your hands out, Bolo. We manifest it right here. Put it out there. And we, we have to there. That'd be fire too. Like Duchess, her sound with woo. Yeah, that's gotta happen. That'd be, that'd be hard. Up. <laughs> oh, everything. <laughs> oh, everything. So, all right, Bolo, go and jump in yeah, on the so, next one. So, um, off of uh, you know, Dinell's point right there. I guess anybody you've been dying to collab with, you know, at this point. Yeah, like one artist. Like one artist you had to collab with right now. You know, who would that be? Like a big artist or up and coming, doesn't matter. You know, any, matter. anybody. Okay, I'm gonna say Mellow Rags. I'm really fucking with her. I like her sound, her vibe, her look, everything. She's really sick. I nice. just hopped on board. So she, Mellow Rags, she signed a Young Money. Uh, yeah, she just signed a Young Money. Sorry again, guys. You good? So, you good? Yeah, yeah. Just signed on the Young Money recently. So yeah, shout out to Mellow Rags, man. It's funny you said yeah. that. I just tapped in and like saw the phone her. Um, I've done some work with Lil Wayne before. Um, so yeah, I try to, I'm a big young money fan. Like, I've been big young money. Wait, Duchess, let me say this again. He's a big young money fan. Oh, so am I. So am I. Little way. Okay, Ray- okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about fucking hot boys. I'm talking about, I, I, we go back. I'm talking BG Juvie. I'm talking the black is hot. The black is hot. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. Young- oh, yeah. <laughs> on everything. Okay. Uh, we got another one for you. So this, this is a little bit more on the fun side. What's your biggest celebrity crush growing up? We ain't talking now, because you a celebrity no. now, but growing up, biggest celebrity crush? Honestly, I don't want to say it, because now it's like, mm. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the, but listen, we, we, we all we all have one. I'll say Omarion, Omarion. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. fair, that's fair. That boy Omarion put the right? leg up. Yeah, the, the... yeah, you know, look up, yeah. pop, pop, lock it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, nice. all, all the girls had like a Marion, Bow Wow, wow, wow Lil Romeo, no. Romeo on a wall. Sammy. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to so so next question right here. We got sometimes we like to get a little spicy on the on the porch right now. So okay. give us give us your preference. Drunk sex or high sex? Ooh. Drunk and, sex. Oh, now tell us why. Because it's funny. As soon as you Freaker. asked that, Bolo, I saw the smoke coming up. So I'm like, damn, that's kinda, the, the timing yeah, is perfect. <laughs> the drunk sex, mm-hmm. and you can go long, like all night long, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that. It's funny. We um we asked another guest that, and they was like, yeah, with the hot sex, I just ain't got time to be running to the cotton mouth and going to get water every now and then. 
after smoking and I'm like, yeah. okay, that makes sense. That's a good explanation. Right. <laughs> real shit, real shit. Yeah. Okay, right. now this was going to be for our male listeners. What is your okay. biggest turn on from a man? So if somebody's trying to shoot their shot at Duchess, what's the biggest turn on from a man? Go. The way you smell and the way you smile. <laughs> smell and smile. Double S. Yeah. Smell and smile. So, fellas, hey, you come to death, you better put that speed on. No. (laughs) That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. I love it. No. Got you. All right. So, so I got one right here, but uh, so so this is a fun one called Finish This Verse. I'm putting the pressure on you. So this, so this verse is from. I'm fucking up. Ah shit. It's from, it's from, it's from one of your, it's from one of your songs. It's from one of your, your it's from your new EP. I'm gonna you hand. It's from oh, this okay. EP, me versus me. Okay. But it's a random line, so it might catch you off guard. So oh, you trying to catch me off guard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. We having fun with. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to say it without like saying it in the same rhythm. I'm gonna just try to say it. All right. Fuck me on the yacht. Get me Willy Wonka. His pocket super fat. I'm talking meet the Parkers. What's the next? What's the next? I'm gonna say. Oh, the what's, what's the fuck? I gotta say the lyrics. Bumba Clyde. So, <laughs> oh my god. Put me on the yacht. Give me okay. Willy Wonka. His pocket super fat. I'm talking meet the Parkers. He choked me from the back. Fuck! I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you had it. You had it. You had it. You had it. Hey, and, 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 the, and the flow was there too, though. The flow was there too. On everything. <laughs> I'll tell you, like, cause it, look, I, I love playing this game. Anytime we have like a, a artist song, because like that's just hard as hell. Like you got so many damn songs to remember this one line. But so the line, the answer is you had it. You had it going. He cho- yeah, he choked me from the back so he can hit it harder. He pulling on my tracks. Oh, this is fucking natural. Okay. Cold ass bar. She gotta, she gotta let, let these niggas know, like this is natural. Don't be. Oh, this is natural. <laughs> let it hang. You can let pull it on it. it. Ain't nothing gonna happen. It's, it's hers. <laughs> oh my! Pull it. Yup. <laughs> pull it. Pull it. Ain't nothing coming out over here. Nope. Ain't no tracks. Right. Uh, right. All right. We got. We got one more. One more game for you uh, before we close out. So this is called just right. fill, fill in the blank. So I'm gonna start off Bolo, and then you could jump in. Back. Um. You're not really from Canada if you blank. If you don't say fam after everything. Everything's fam. Fam, fam, fam. Man, okay. what up, fam? Yeah, all of that. All of that. Fam, that's, that's funny. Damn, I didn't know that was we a Canada there, We didn't use fam a lot, too, though, too. Like, oh, you do? Really? Y'all might have yeah, stole we... that from us, Duchess. Keep it real. I don't know. <laughs> nah, nah, you cap it. You cap it. We ain't <laughs> cap it. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Oh, now, man. um... The next fill in the blank here. All right. In five years, Duchess will be blank. Um, Billboard charts for sure. For Let's sure. Get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Out there. I like it. I like so. it. And then last one, last one. The Porch Podcast is blank. The Porch Podcast is the coolest motherfucking podcast there is. You did. Gang. Gang. You heard it from Duchess. Hey, you know, you and you know we're gonna have to take that, slice that up. That's gonna damn near be our, our main yeah, little I already know. Yeah, we're gonna have to run with that one. Hey, on you, everything. You know what's real when Duchess say it. Like I you I ain't say it, bullet it, but Duchess said it. Okay. No okay. cat. Man, man we it. appreciate you, man. This, this has been a fun ass episode. We like love your energy, your vibe, like keep grinding. Keep chasing yours. You gonna definitely make it, man. And I know you're a God fearing woman as well. So definitely. stay prayed up and keep on it. You know, find your dreams, man. Before we go, let the people know where they can find you, uh, where they can find your new project. Just anything you got going on, shout it out. For sure. So follow me on Instagram. That's Diamond underscore Duchess. Real Diamond underscore Duchess on Instagram. Um, YouTube is Duchess TV. My new EP just dropped, Me Versus Me. It's available on all streams everywhere. Yeah, catch up with me. Tap in. Let's Thanks. get it. Hey, Me Versus Me, the porch y'all listening, just know every time you wake up, you looking yourself in the mirror, it's always you versus you. It's Me Versus Me. We got yeah. Duchess on the porch. It's D-Nail. I'm B. Jones. Follow us on the porch podcast underscore on all listening platforms. All right, this episode will drop. All right, everything dropped from Duchess. Go ahead and cop. Go ahead, follow her. And we're going to make it happen. Hey, six. Like-
Let's Six wife. <laughs> Peace. We out. We out, y'all. Started on the porch. That was where it all began. Had to put it work every day. We got it in. We chased all our dreams, and now they can't believe it. We make it look easy. We achieving everything we need. Now we undefeated. If we link, no, it's only business. If we get to speak and leave them speechless, I did things for free, but now it costs to see me. When you see me, you ain't gotta greet me. Just don't plot to sneak me. I'ma see it. I'ma stop and watch you lose and get defeated. Let's get it. This show is presented by Bat Online.